think the more one of the things we need in this situation is European unity. Um, in 27 acting together, we are strong, and I think we're all agreed on the need and the role of sanctions. Every country has different circumstances and difficult circumstances into, in regard to each one. What we have to try and reach is a situation where we agree uh, on those sanctions that can be applied, enforce them, and respect every country, the difficult circumstances they have, but, but try and really progress as, as 27 working together. That's what gives us strength. One question on gas. Uh, I mean, Putin is trying to divide and conquer the European Union by, for example, stopping deliveries to Bulgaria and Poland. Do you see a risk of other member states being uh, locked off Euro um, Russian gas? And do you see that there is a risk for the EU to be split in two parties? I think it is. I mean, we have a different circumstance because we're so far west, we're not dependent on Russian gas, so we have to be careful in terms of telling what other countries to do. But it, it, it is a wartime situation that's good, that is worsening and what's happened now with Bulgaria and Poland is an example of that. It could go further, clearly. Again, I came back to, come back to one message though. A lot of our attention has been on how could we get additional other gas supplies and that's understandable and that's appropriate. But that's limited. What we also need to do is push efficiency in the use of gas so that we strengthen our hand, so that we are less open to, to ransom. It isn't just about getting alternative supplies, it's also about using less and that's the message we'll be delivering to the Council today.